I can hate this game right now. Let's be honest here, guys. Siege is dying slowly. Is Fortnite dying? The grand old question is Roblox dying. Is Fortnite dying? It's been over 2,500 days since Fortnite Battle Royale came out, and it's still reaching the highest player count years later. But Fortnite isn't the only game to be doing this. Games like Rainbow Six and Roblox are also hitting their peaks years later after their release. But how are these games doing this? Let's start with Fortnite, the game that came out of nowhere in late 2017. Fortnite was once a survival zombie game where you would do missions and kill zombies at the same time. It was certainly unique, but it just didn't seem to keep and get a good player base. Yeah. Scammer get scammed! Scammer get scammed! Scammer get scammed? Are you dumb? I've no. never traded with you, what do you mean? Did my, your finger slip? My finger slip. I was eating KFC. Fast forwarding to 2024, Fortnite alone is successful just with it being a battle royale. But Fortnite nowadays is way more than just a battle royale game. I mean, there's LEGO Fortnite now, racing, and much more. March 22nd, 2023 was the day Fortnite pretty much changed forever, though. This was the release of UEFN. With UEFN, or Unreal Editor for Fortnite, as you may call it, creators are now making games inside of Fortnite. UEFN is also the most powerful and easy way to create a game to this day, and while these creators are making games, Fortnite is paying them millions a year to do so. Some of these games inside of Fortnite are bigger than actual games like Warzone and Apex. Creative maps including Tilted Zone Wars or Go Goated are getting 50, 70, and even 100k concurrent players at a time. And if we took a look at the Steam charts, some of these maps would even make the top 10 for most played. Fortnite also has several servers around the world, and they never really have any issues. Let's not forget to talk about hackers, though, because many games deal with hackers and can't get them under control, once again like Apex and Warzone, which are filled with them. In Fortnite, you may have probably never come across hackers, and if you do, you probably get surprised because of how rare they are to see. Lastly, perhaps one of the reasons Fortnite has stayed so relevant up to this point are the monthly or even weekly updates and collaborations they have done with various forms of media from movies, TV, comics, and even music. If you have seen it somewhere, it's probably a Fortnite skin now. Partnering with other forms of media has done wonders for Epic Games, as it has spawned more content for the game, which, in turn, equates to more new players. With this model, it's hard to see Fortnite leaving the gaming space anytime soon, or even ever. But let's talk about Minecraft, a game that has seemed to be around for forever now. Why is it that Minecraft seems to be immortal while other games are lasting three weeks before they die off? First off, let's talk about the sheer versatility of Minecraft. This game offers players an endless canvas to unleash creativity. Whether you're building majestic castles, redstone contraptions, or simply exploring worlds, there's always something new to discover. If you can't find something new to discover, you can just mod it into the game yourself. Mods are probably one of the top reasons Minecraft is still alive today. I mean, it keeps the YouTube side of things alive. If there wasn't anything new or exciting, the YouTube side of Minecraft would probably be dead by now. Minecraft is a game that is very easy to learn, too. There's not really much to learn about Minecraft. It's usually just grabbing the materials you need and then craft. That's it. So it makes players of all ages accessible to the game. Also, let's just take a look at the annual Minecon events, where players from around the world come together to celebrate their love for the game. But perhaps the most significant reason why Minecraft will never die is its timeless appeal. Unlike other games that rely heavily on graphics or trendy mechanics, Minecraft's pixelated and simple gameplay visuals have ensured its longevity. Some people can't afford nice gaming rigs, and this makes Minecraft accessible to literally anyone and everyone. Roblox is kind of like the other games mentioned, but one thing about Roblox is it doesn't have a main mode like Fortnite Battle Royale or just Minecraft being Minecraft. When you load up Roblox, you are greeted with millions of player-created games. And what makes the Roblox creating model unique is the way the creators of these games get paid. Unlike Fortnite, the only ways of getting paid are either your code or map plays, while Roblox has this unique feature you can add in your gameplay experiences. You can have subscriptions within your experience to offer you the ability to earn even more. Developer products, which are items or abilities that a user can purchase, such as inexperienced currency, and even passes for access to special privileges within an experience, like entry to a restricted area or a permanent power-up. 
When you sell your own passes and your experience, you earn 70% of the Robux spent. You can also sell passes within your experience that were made by other creators. In this case, you earn a 10% affiliate fee on the Robux spent within your experience, and the original creator of the pass earns 60%. So, there are a lot of ways to make money. This, of course, leads to more games being made on Roblox, which is also giving players new experiences to try every time they load up Roblox. There's always something new to try. A game you may not have expected to be hitting its peak years later, Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six came out in December 2015. In the first week, it sold an estimated 745,000 copies. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, considering PAL World sold 7 million its first week, it starts to put things into perspective. But PAL World has also lost like 60 to 70% of its player base already. But just not too long ago, in February 2024, Rainbow hit its sixth peak with over 100,000 players, nearly a decade after its release. But how did Ubisoft make this happen? Well, to start, the game is one of the best realistic shooters to ever exist. Everything about it from game quality, sounds, and gameplay. But what makes it really stand out? The operator system. The game introduced a diverse roster of operators, each with their own unique abilities, gadgets, and playstyles. This added depth to the gameplay and allowed for various tactics and strategies, keeping the experience fresh and engaging. The real reason it's been hitting its peak this late? Jinxie has been the absolute face of Rainbow Six the past year or so. Honestly, for the past year, he's been the face of Twitch and content creation overall, passing everyone in subs on Twitch by a landslide. He is the main reason the game is so popular today. He's even made content creators play Rainbow Six with him that have never even touched the game before. This is inspiring many people to play the game. It's not free, of course, but Ubisoft has put huge discounts on the game, making it very affordable. We're doing a $50 giveaway at 2K subscribers, so subscribe!